all of the exercises we're doing today um, can be completed standing or if you really prefer to sit uh, there'll be options for that as well and as we're letting people join today i'm just shifting side to side with my hips here check in our box keep it going all look good we've got matt on the call as well so uh, if you have questions ergonomic questions for him you can type those in the chat box or find matt arbiter on the list so welcome, thank you to the Employee Club for sponsoring our 10 minute break today and all week. Um, I hope you, hope you have been able to take advantage of a bunch of those activities. Um, during our break today, keep your audio muted and your video turned off. This will help ensure that all the participants are able to see and hear the instructions. Um, and we'll do a video share at the end. So go ahead and bring your body to a comfortable standing position. Take one arm out to the side and a little torso shift here. I'm keeping one hand near my belly button so it really gets me to keep my lower body in place and feel this movement through the rib cage and that torso. Let's go ahead and switch sides. Little shift here, center and then out to the side. When you're ready, both arms come up and we alternate sides. Good. We're going to take this to center and into our windmill. So my arms are locked in my key. I rotate, I come down, touch that knee, bring it back up to center, switch sides. We're off to a good start. Thank you all for joining today. As you feel this rotation through the torso, you may also feel a little stretch through the low back and the hamstrings. That's great. All of our movement should be done pain-free. So if anything doesn't feel right, feel free to modify or you can pause and rejoin with the next exercise. One more on each side with our windmills. And we release, drop those shoulders down and back. Putting my elbows against my side, we're opening up with an external shoulder rotation here. So my Upper arms stay really close to my sides, and as my hands come back, I go as far as I can until I squeeze those shoulder blades together. Let's take it back and hold. We're going to pause with the uh, hands wide, elbows are close to the sides, squeeze the shoulder, four, three, two, one, release. And again, we open wide, feel that contraction in those upper back muscles. Gives you a chance to bring your awareness to that shoulder, that posterior deltoid, the infraspinatus, the teres minor, teeny tiny muscles that do a lot of work for us every day. And last one, squeeze and release. We're bringing our arms back to that starting position, elbows at 90 degrees, lift into a lateral raise. You're welcome to stay at this level or add the external shoulder rotation. We come up to the top and we open into that goal post. So kind of single count movements here, keeping the body and the shoulders moving. Let's go ahead and bring it up, pause and squeeze those shoulder blades down the back. Do a chance to think about your breathing, that inhale and that exhale, breathe in through the nose, exhale through the mouth and back to that single count movement. Again, you have this external rotation or the lateral raise, your choice. Either way, as long as we keep the body moving, get that circulation going, loosen up those muscles, lubricate those joints, you're doing the right thing. Two more and release. Friday afternoon, it's pre-happy hour. Let's warm up those forearms, supinators and pronators. I'm going palm up, palm down. Now you're wondering, why does this apply to happy hour? I have a demonstration for you here. It works like this. Pronate and supinate. You're doing great. And maybe, you no, know, you don't pour out of a bottle. That's okay, you might have a can. Let's go flexion and extension. So palms forward and down. This one works for my ginger ale and opening those hands. Good pre-happy hour moves here. And relax. Let's interlock those fingers together. Press forward. You're feeling an upper back stretch here. Drop the chin towards the chest. Feel that stretch from right to left. The left 
touch right all the way across the shoulders. And we release and we swim the arms open, opening up through the chest. You're welcome to repeat that stretch again, or if you happen to have a chair nearby, we're gonna rest our hands right on top and not put your forward, just rest. I step my feet back and I drop my armpit towards the floor, feeling the stretch to the rotation of the side. So under this armpit, through the ribs to the face and the back. And if you're using this with the rotation of the side stretch, keep the head parallel to the floor. I do not want you to drop the head down. We're looking right at the floor here. And release. Good. Everybody just swim those arms open. Hands come behind the back. And lock the fingers together. Great. If you need to just go palm facing each other, that's fine. Shoulders down, opening up through the chest. Inhale, exhale. One more circular breath here. And release. Next up, our standing hip flexor stretch. So I step one foot back. It's like I'm into a lunge position. I'm going to tuck my tailbone, and then I'm going to lift one arm towards the ceiling. So if you're in a seated position today, you can do just the upper body reach up. Again, I'm stepping back, press that heel down, tuck the tailbone so I can start to feel the stretch here. Hand up overhead, and if you can reach a little bit, that'll extend that stretch all the way through the torso. And let's do that same stretch on the other side. So step back into the lunge, press that back heel towards the floor, tuck the tailbone, stretch inside, arm comes up, and we reach over the top of the head. The hip flexor muscle, that part of the, the hip is trying to get tight when we're in a seated position for a long time. So this is a stretch we do every day. Works in the morning, works in the afternoon, works at night. Inhale, exhale, and release. Standing hip cradle stay. So you may see me gently hold the chair for balance. You cross one ankle over the opposite knee and sit back. If you joined me for stretches earlier this week, you know the same stretch can be completed in a seated position. You're feeling the work through the lifted leg side on the hip, the posterior hip here. And yes, I am, am asking that standing legs to uh, work for you a little bit. It might be a little muscle burn. That's okay. And switch sides. Ankle over the knee. Sit back into that standing or seated hip cradle stretch. Stick with me. I was going to share a joke with you today about flexibility, but just felt like too much of a stretch. Hopefully you got that one. And relax. We're into calf raises. Both feet comfortably on the floor. Toes are forward. We elevate up onto the ball of the foot and bring it back down. So try to get as high as you can here. If you're in a seated position, you can still do this foot motion. Lift and lower through the heel. Stick with me. We've got about two more minutes to go in our stretch break today. Lift and lower. Two more. Good. Single leg here. And again, you can do this in standing or sitting position. We're going to hit about 10 repetitions on each side. Three, two, one. Switch it up. Half raises on the opposite leg. Four more, three, two, one. We release, make sure there's a little bend in the knees. We're gonna bring our final attention up to our neck and shoulders. Drop ear to shoulder, feel that gentle stretch down the side of the neck. Think about your breath. You're gonna inhale here with your exhale, chin drops towards the chest, all the way through to the other side. Pause here, feel the stretch on the other side. Inhale with your exhale, you're going to return to your starting position. We roll those shoulders down and back. Same pattern on the other side. Drop ear to shoulder. 
exhale, we lead all the way through. Feel that lateral stretch. And bring it up to the top. Two more times, one on each side. So we're gonna drop down. You're welcome to stay here in the lateral neck stretch or point that nose towards the top of the wall. So it's just a little shift here. So we feel the stretch of these anterior neck muscles, the scalene. So my nose is pointed towards the top of the wall. My stretching side arm is down and back. And exhale, release. This is our last stretch today. Ear to shoulder. Feel that lateral neck stretch. If you want, take the nose towards the top of the wall. Inhale. And exhale, release. Thank you again to the Wellness Committee and to each of you out there that joined today. Lynn, Ken, Julie, Michelle, I see you.